Hey surveys and welcome back to K Popsicles. I'm Paige. I'm Kate. And we are back, guys. We're super excited. We just got done checking out uh the group D Crunch for the first time ever, and they were amazing, so go check that out before this one. Now we're heading into my bias. Kihan! <laughs> for those of you who don't speak squeaky, um, that was Kihan. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just super excited. So, um, was it two weeks ago we checked out his um, debut? Or did I check yeah, that out? Yeah, solo debut. Yeah, solo debut. We checked that out together. I yes, think. we did. Uh, I was like, I'm pretty sure we did. Because <laughs> it came out on the day of. Um, so yeah, we checked out his solo debut. Um, this is one of the B-sides off of the album. Um, it's called Kama. And he did, it looks like a, like a live uh, type video for it. Um, and so we're super excited. I'm, I'm ready to check it out. Like like I said, if you haven't been on the channel, if you're brand new, um, you haven't been with us long, uh, we are huge Monster X stands, and Ki Hyun is my bias, and I love that man, and he has blown us away with his solo debut. I was so excited with it, and so happy, like, and proud, and so I'm super excited to see what this one's gonna look like and sound like. So, yay! <laughs> um, before we jump in, I'll leave a link to our Patreon down below in the description box, so we hope you come over and check us out. We do live stages, drum reactions, variety shows, dance practices, you can join our Discord, Basically everything you can't do here on YouTube. We also post free videos over there for you guys to get blocked on our channel because we're not going to make you pay for this. Give you free. That's just stupid. Speaking of our Patreon, we're currently watching Run BTS, Island, Produce 101 the series season 1, um, The Isaacs, Strong Woman Dobong Soon, Got Seven's Hard Carry, Got Seven's Dream Night, Semantic Error, and I have my own segment called Pint Size or Extra Dramas on my own. Currently I am watching the drama Doom at Your Service. The first episode is available for free for you guys. And if you enjoy my reaction, you can join our $5 tier to get the rest of the episodes. Also, speaking of our Patreon, after I've finished Doom at Your Service, I will be starting Imitations, so stay tuned for that. It's coming soon. Um, also, if you want to follow us over on Twitter, I hand it be on screen. We post every single day over the videos dropping, so you guys can stay update what we're doing here on our channel. Also, guys, we're super close to hitting 1,000 subs, which is insane. Uh, and we want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. It really does mean the world to us. We wouldn't be here without you. Um, and to give back, we want to do a live stream Q&A with you guys uh, once we hit that 1,000 subs. So make sure whatever questions you have for us, whether it be K-pop related or non-K-pop related, um, you get them into us or, you know, wherever. Post them on community post. Post them down in the comments. You can message us on Twitter, Instagram, wherever, um, so that we can respond to those questions for you guys during that live stream. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'm super excited. Yay. Here we go, guys. This is our boy, Ki Hyun, and his song, Kama. It's fancy chandelier. I know, right? I was like, ooh. This sweater looks so soft and fuzzy. In comparison to his leather pants. I agree. Right. <laughs> and then all the simple jewelry. Oh. Beautiful. I like how the chorus is super upbeat. Like the beat, but his vocal is so beautiful over time. <sighs> we said this last time too with his debut. This is definitely like his style, it really represents him. It's beautiful. I love it. I just love that his personal style is like so completely different from Monster X style. I know, right? It's more like a soft rock, like pop rock style. <sighs> this man's vocal ability is ridiculous. I love the melody of the song. Oh. 
I think the bridge is my favorite part. So far. I'm kind of expecting a high note now in this bridge. <laughs> we'll see though. Get ready for it. Oh. Ooh. They're like, da 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 da. Like, ah. I will never get over how beautiful this man is. <laughs> I know how you expected a high note, but I also think it one. didn't it need didn't it. Need one. Yeah, it wasn't like it was needed. But it was. It would have been like a cherry on top of the Sunday, you know, yeah. like that extra little like oomph to it. But it wasn't like it needed it. It didn't need one, but also companies like fitting in high notes wherever they can. Yeah, so you so, kind of it's it's expected, but when it doesn't happen, and it's like sometimes it throws you off. It kept but at the it same a nice time, and soft song. I appreciate that he didn't just throw it in there just to have a high note in there because a lot of people would probably have been like just throw it in there because it's just show it off and it's like he doesn't need to because he showed it off plenty um and it's not you don't need to add something that doesn't need to be there it's, so that's just like an extra thing for it um so i i really enjoyed it and it definitely didn't need it there it was um a softer like i said very pop rock sound which is still in line with the voyager um and it definitely added to, um, what really got to me, too, was just the lyrics itself. Because it was talking mm -hmm. about, like, help me continue my story. When I'm lost. Yeah, help, help me, me find the way. Um, and it's literally called comma and stuff. And what kind of made me l chuckle in my head and stuff, because and, I'm like, you know me, I'm a writer. I, I love reading and writing and stuff like that. And that was one thing that I was always, like, I had to work on was putting too many commas mm -hmm. so that I would have like a long run on sentence and so that just and like, like no, reminded me multiple sentences. <laughs> right and it reminded me of like all those conversations I've had with teachers and with other people who are like reviewing my work and stuff and they were like you know you, either you need to add a comma or you need to take out a bunch of commas and so it just it, it reminded me of that a little bit and I was like hey and it's like it just fits so well it, like coincidentally in my head too so I'm like, that just gave me a little, like, kick out of that. Um, <laughs> um, but other than that, no, the the whole song itself, like I said, I honestly think the bridge is my favorite part of the song. Because um, he doesn't necessarily sl completely slow it all the way down. Um, but he kind of... It's still upbeat. Yeah, it's still upbeat. He brings it back a little bit. Um, he doesn't overdo it with, like, super crazy high notes or whatever. Um, and he's got that little vocal run that he does at the end mm -hmm. that, tr like, trickles down, and it's like, oh, it just sounds so and pretty. And like, the little falsetto he goes into. The little, like, whisper falsetto, mm -hmm. it's like, oh. That's so, so nice. <sighs> I think overall I like this better than Voyager. Oh, Like, really? they're both good songs, but <laughs> you know me and my vocals. I know, I know. I mean, Kihan is the man of vocals, so, I mean, I, I completely understand he's one of my outlier, and, you know, <laughs> biases for that reason. Um... I would definitely have to listen to this back to back with Voyager to figure out which one's my favorite. Um, so right now I'm gonna stay still like with Voyager, but I definitely wanna re listen to this again, like with the headphones or like in the car or something. I feel like that'll help me determine bass too. Blaring. Yeah, the bass is what really drives a good song too sometimes. So I'm definitely interested to see um how that would sound later. Um, but so far I do love the instrumentals of this because it is kind of very upbeat in a way but still kind of toned down and calm with his vocals. Mm -hmm. So it was really interesting kind of a contrast, and I, I, I enjoyed it a lot. So He did such a good job. He did. He always does. Like I said, this man is the king of vocals. Uh, when people talk about, like, amazing vocals in K-pop, they always, like, forget to put him. I'm like, what do you mean he's, like, an amazing vocalist? I think Monster X in general is underrated. It's, They're getting more popular, but yeah. they're still underrated. Yeah, it's interesting, too, because I'm just like, I feel like, they have a huge following, but at the same time, it's not as big as we actually think, you know? Like, I, f I definitely feel because they, they're they more popular internationally and with the West than they are in, in Korea, Korea and, yeah. But they definitely need to be bigger because they're such an amazing group, and each of the members can stand on their own as a soloist, too. So it's like, they're just amazing, amazing performers and artists, and like I said, Ki Hyun, is my man's with the vocals. It's my bias. Oh, I love him. 
<laughs> um, anything else you want to say? Nothing I can think of. The video itself was very simplistic. Simple. Yeah, it was very simplistic. Just him with a mirror and a chandelier, and it just, it worked though. It worked. It was beautiful. So. Um, if you have nothing else to say, that'll be it for us, guys. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did. Go give our boy some love. He absolutely deserves it. We'll leave a link to our Patreon, Instagram, and our Twitter down below in the description box so you can come over and check us out. It really helps us so much. Uh, seriously, your support means the absolute, absolute world to us. Welcome to all of our newest surveys. You guys are seriously amazing. We love you, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Bye.